Well, guys, holy moly, look what I've just found. Um, didn't mean to do that. I'm change the camera speed. And I'm going to do play. I've basically put in a add new feature or content pack VR added to the project. And then went down here in the content browser to virtual reality. Blueprints dropped in the motion controller pawn, which is this guy. I went down in the details panel and did auto possess player player zero. And then in the world settings, which if you don't have the world settings, it'll be under window, world outliner, and world settings. Uh, world settings, and I did game mode override to be none. Now, I had to do the little drop down menu on the play icon and do VR preview. At the moment, this is as far as I've got. So if I go to press play, hopefully you can see what I can see on the screen, but obviously mine is in VR. And um, earlier I was able to navigate around this space using the arrow keys. Look at that! Cardboard to VR in a couple of hours. That's quite amazing. You know, yeah, it's real. Volumes, spatial. Hopefully we're going to be able to record a little bit of um, what you can see on the screen and also me moving my head around with this thing on for whatever that's worth. Now, what is particularly interesting about this is that, um, fingers crossed, let's see, you can now see what's on the screen and what's in my eyes. Yeah, so there is a little bit of disconnect. Um, doesn't quite make sense. Okay. After following what I was just doing there with the how to actually get this thing set up, what we've now got here is our scene that I can see with my VR headset on. First gen HTC Vive. And around me is my scene. Uh, so I can move the camera left and right with the mouse and I can move around the scene with my keyboard up and down but the actual you know full 360 motion is with my headset uh, which is pretty cool now what this allows me to do at the moment I don't have any of the um, headset controls set up but what it does allow me to do is explore this in ways that just using the screen wouldn't, which is the whole point of this setup. So obviously I can go in, uh, it's incredibly Enjoy bright, the uh, post process, but what we've got around the scene is my you know, original cardboard model, which we then put into Rhino, and I've just duplicated some materials and dropped them on everything, on real materials. Now the thing with this headset is that it's such a, low resolution display uh, those dodgy stretched materials aren't really impacting my experience at the moment uh, but that said you know the reason why this is great is uh, i might look a little bit silly with them on but um subjective obviously uh, again if you can see on the screen as i move around with my head we actually do get to explore these volumes and shapes uh, in real time and you know, if I'm actually designing these things or trying to get a good vantage point, you know, it really is quite special in that respect. Uh, you know, you can move around, get a good view of all these different perspectives. You know, again, yeah, I was moving around a uh, shape and uh, scaling it, seeing how that would work. Now, that is actually another thing we could try. We can actually modify this geometry in VR. Um, my camera speed is quite fast, so which is why it seems to be jumping around everywhere. Uh, but in reality, um, you know, we should be able to slow this down a bit. How cool is this? 
You all need to get one. <laughs> yeah, super cool. Uh, it's the uh, VR mode editor. Okay, so I'm going to go back in here as the VR editor and see what you can see. I think actually this is mapped a lot better and you can begin to explore the... Uh... Right, so let those pair. And um, yeah, so let's see how this actually fares. It should just appear in my display. We've only got one being registered at the moment. Let's give them a bit of a maraca wiggle. Yeah, there we go, we got both of them in. And yeah, you can see them there in front of me. Um, I'm just going to see what I can kind of explore briefly. Uh, as you can see, they've got the uh, materials are looking a little bit uh, tighter. Now I should be able to uh, move in this viewport. But can I? Is paint act as foliage? So I think foliage, actually, nothing else. Okay, actors. So, for example, let's get some lights. Uh, let's get a light. <laughs> Whereabouts is that thing? Let's close this box. I might actually get rid of this light because who knows what it's doing. Oh my god, look at that. Yes, it is in. And uh, it is doing its thing. But I don't know where any of my uh, in-editor icons are. So I can't actually see that light. As you guys can, can attest to. Uh, so I've dragged the point light in there. Uh, I can grab my floor plan. Uh, floor plates, uh, can I go home, gizmo, and it was scale, so if I select this shape, yes, I can now scale, can I scale everything, yes, that's doing it in depth as well, I thought you did a bit of everything, uh, translate, remove, Yeah. Uh, what can I do? Rotate this thing. You know, all the while that I'm in this space, uh, maybe what I can do is uh, scale that a bit more. All over here. All right, there we go. All of a sudden, I'm on the actual object. If I can't move to it, I'll get it to move to me. This, this axis. Actually, it turns out. Whoa. Oh, that's, that's pretty big. Uh, let's go back one. Oh, edit. I'm not pressing the wrong thing again. Yeah, obviously, it gives me. Sometimes it wants uh, to a little bit. I did have a play with this kind of scale thing before, and it seems to have upgraded the uh, weight of the. somewhere, somewhat. Oh. Doesn't mean that it's not without me. Well, anyway, how amazing is this? Get any 
options for those lights that I've put in there. 